Hi everyone, today we are going to be making a very cool blanket. I'm actually going to make a baby size blanket, but the pattern I'm going to be using actually, I'll show you, I made this stitch and it's really cool. I made it into on a pillowcase um, that I just really like the stitch. What it is is slip stitch, then half double crochet, then slip stitch, then half double crochet all the way across. And it's very versatile. Obviously, I made this into a pillowcase, but you can make this for a, a blanket, which I think will be a really cool idea, and I'm going to do that today. Um, and then you can make it um, for a scarf or anything really I mean I really like this stitch so I'm gonna show you how I did this um, now I'm not gonna show you how to make the pillow but I'll show you um, the blanket and then you can make it however big you or small you want it to be so and we use measurements so uh, I would suggest getting a ruler or a tape measure to measure your chain that you're going to be making so let's just get started right away. Uh, actually, before I want we get started, I do want to mention I do have a Facebook page, so make sure that you go like it. I'll put the description in the video or the link into the description of this video, and so you can go find me there. I, and then you can see all of my crochet videos, and also um, make sure to subscribe to my channel here on YouTube so that you can see. Uh, we, I try to put out weekly videos, um, how to crochet and different crochet tutorials. So make sure you do that as well. So today, I'm going to be using my bamboo hook. It is actually a seven millimeter hook, but and I actually don't know the actual like letter that these come in uh, for American standards. So you can use any size hook you want. Um, I used the same size hook on this blanket, so you can see how loose the stitches are. You can actually see my pillow form underneath on here, which I kind of don't like, but I mean, this is the size of the stitch it made with this size hook. So keep that in mind. The bigger the hook, the looser the stitch. So, you know, if you want a tighter stitch, I would suggest going with a size 5, which is an H size hook, or a size 5 millimeter, sorry, H size. Um, and so just, you know, you can use whatever size hook you want. I don't have a pattern written for this. I actually think it's so easy that you don't really need a written pattern. Um, so let's just get started right away. What we're going to need to start to do is make a slip knot. So I have other videos to show how to do this, but I'll show you here. Um, just put the small end over the lar long end like this, and then fold this down and pull this up like that. And that is a slip knot. And pull it tight. Excuse my dog barking, but he's hyper. So now we need to make a chain. Uh, however long you want it. Now if you're making a pillow like this one, this was a 16 by 16 pillow. So I just chained it to make sure it was 16 inches. Um, so make sure you do that. Or if you're going to make a scarf, make sure that it's about, I would say, um, 9 inches. And if you're making a baby blanket, make sure it's 36 inches, which that's what I'm doing. So I'm going to chain up to 36 inches, and you want to chain, you want your chain to be an odd number, okay? So, like, one, okay, so I'll show you how to do a chain. So you yarn over and pull it through. That's one, yarn over, pull through, that's two yarn over pull through three so odd number one three five seven nine etc so i'm thinking i might end up with about 71 73 stitch or chains so i'm gonna start i'm just gonna continue chaining until my chain measures 36 inches so i'll do that off camera but you just chain however long you need yours to be and make sure that it is an odd number that you end on okay so i chained as many as i need to measure 36 inches for my baby blanket for this size hook which is seven millimeters i ended up chaining 105 so uh, if you are you know using a similar size hook or doing the same project as me, just know that I chained 105 to measure 36 inches. Um, 
So now we're working on the row one. And what we're going to do for row one is actually I'm going to work on the back loops. So you see how it's looking like this. We actually turn the chain towards us like this and you can see the back ridges here like this so I'm gonna work in those ridges okay you can choose to do that or you can work in the top part of the chain whichever you feel most comfortable doing we are gonna work in the second chain from the hook so the loop that's on the hook never counts as anything so this is the first and this is the second okay so we're working right in there and we're just going to insert our hook and we're going to make a slip stitch. But for the slip stitches in this project, you want it to be loose enough for the next row, you're going to insert your hook into that stitch. So just make it loose enough. So what you do is just yarn over, pull through and pull through. Okay, so there's your slip stitch. Then in the next stitch, we are going to make a half double crochet so right here in the next chain yarn over go into that second or in that next chain right there then yarn over and pull through and then yarn over and pull through all three loops on your hook that's a half double crochet okay so we're just going to be alternating these two stitches all the way across so in the next stitch is a slip stitch so just insert your hook no yarning over just insert your hook into that chain, yarn over and pull through, and pull it through that loop that's on your hook. Okay, so we have slip stitch, half double crochet, slip stitch. Now we want to do a half double crochet in the next chain. So yarn over and go into that stitch, yarn over and pull through, one that just that chain then yarn over and pull through all three loops on your hook like that so now we just did a half double crochet so the next one is a slip stitch so just insert your hook like this yarn over and pull through and pull through okay next one is a half double crochet so yarn over and go into the stitch, yarn over and pull through that one, then yarn over and pull through all three loops on your hook. Okay, so this is what it's looking like so far. So that's our first row. So just continue on across this chain by doing a slip stitch and then a half double crochet and then a slip stitch and a half double crochet okay and I will meet you back up once I have finished this row okay. alright so I'm um, you would on the first row you would end with a slip stitch since you started with a slip stitch um, so if you do not end with a slip stitch you maybe did something wrong maybe put two stitches or two of the same stitch together or something so you want to make sure you're alternating every other stitch to be half double crochet then slip stitch half double crochet then slip stitch and make sure that your slip stitches are quite loose so that you can get your hook in there on the next row like that okay for row two we are going to chain two one and two but then never counts as a stitch okay it never does we are going to um, be working in this first stitch here so make sure you turn your work and we'll work right across here so now we are going to start and the thing i i actually um keep in mind is if you end this row with a slip stitch you're going to start the next row with a half double crochet okay so this row you're going to start with a half double crochet right into that first stitch right here so yarn over and go into that stitch yarn over and pull through yarn over and pull through all three loops on your hook ok 
Okay, then the next stitch, we're going to do a slip stitch. And then we're going to alternate again. So then on row two, you're going to end with a half double crochet. And then on the row three, you're going to start with a slip stitch and end with a slip stitch. So it's alternating rows and it's alternating every other stitch. So keep that in mind. So I'm just working, so I worked a half double crochet in the first stitch, this is row two, then a slip stitch, then a half double crochet, then a slip stitch, then a half double crochet, then a slip stitch, etc. So again, work this alternating uh, stitching across and I'll meet you back up for row three and then I'll let you go on your own. Okay, so for row two you should end with a half double crochet and now working on row three we are only going to chain one. So for row two we chain two because we started with a half double crochet but for, for the next row, row three, we are only going to chain one and turn our work because we are going to start with a slip stitch right in that first chain or first stitch right here. So insert your hook and just do a slip stitch. Then in the next stitch, a half double crochet. And in the next stitch, a slip stitch. And then in the next stitch, a half double crochet. So again, we're alternating these two stitches all the way across. And now after this row, I'm just going to let you be on your own. So what you need to do is alternate rows two and rows three for the rest of your project, whether you are making a scarf or the pillowcase. In the pillowcase, you have to make two panels, the front and the back, and then sew those two together. And you can make this into a blanket like I'm doing. And make sure uh, that it measures 36 inches long. So it's a 36 by 36. You could do 36 by 40. So uh, just however big you want your uh, project to be. Again, this is a very versatile stitch, a very versatile project, so you can just be creative. There's no right or wrong way to do this, so enjoy, and I will meet you back up when I'm about to finish. I'm actually going to embellish this project. Uh, it's going to be nautical, so I'm going to put an anchor uh, applique on this, which I will show you when I am all finished with the blanket. Um, so. Let's just give this a few days and I'll meet you back up when I have finished my baby blanket. Alright everybody, so it's been a couple of days and I have finished my blanket. Actually, I only have two more rows left, but I wanted to show you the last two rows uh, so you're not confused on how to uh, do the repetition. But it's turned out beautifully. I mean, you can see the stitch. It looks like waves, which is awesome. And um, Or one of my friends said it looked like a cloud, which was really cool too. So my uh, blanket measures 40 inches wide by 36 inches long. Um, so in the beginning when I did chain 105, it did actually turn out to be 40 inches. So just keep that in mind when you're making your baby blanket or whatever you are making um, to measure correctly. So, but it turned out to be really nice. I really like it a lot. So uh, I just want to show you the last two rows so you know the repetition. Um, so we are ending this row, this last row we ended on a, a half double crochet, okay? So now we just want to, if we know we're on the next row, so we're going to just chain one because we ended on a half double crochet, so we need to chain one and turn our work. And then this is the repetition we, we're doing was the last two rows. So we're going to do a slip stitch in the first stitch. So just insert your hook, yarn over, pull through and pull through. Whoops, retry that. Like that. And you wanna make sure your slip stitches are loose enough for your hook to go through. 
I think I mentioned that earlier. Um, so then the next stitch we were going to do a half double crochet. Okay, and then the next stitch we're just repeating the slip stitch. Next stitch is a half double crochet. Next stitch, slip stitch. Okay, so at the end of this row you should end with a slip stitch because we started with a, sli with a slip stitch. So you should end with a slip stitch. Then on the next row, well I'll just finish this row and then I'll show you the very next row. And these were going to be the two rows you were repeating throughout the whole project, alternating the rows and alternating the stitches. And so I'm going to finish this row. You can obviously see that I'm continuing while I'm talking here is just slip stitch, then half double crochet, then slip stitch, then half double crochet. So continue that whole, whole, that whole pattern throughout this whole project, even to these last two ro rows, and then I'll show you how to do the very last row and how to fasten off. Alright, so I'm on my last three stitches here on this row, so uh, I just want to put that on camera here. So we're ending with a slip stitch here. Okay, now on the very last row, we are on the very last row now, so we want to chain two because we ended on a slip stitch on this row. So we know the next row needs to start with a half double crochet. So chain two. And turn your work and start right in that same stitch that we just chained two up in. Just yarn over and go right in there for a half double crochet. Okay, then slip stitch in the very next stitch and then just alternate those two stitches throughout this whole row. So those are the two um, rows you are following and repeating throughout this whole pattern. So um, just continue doing that for this row and then I'll show you how to fasten off. Now if uh, you're a little confused or if you'd rather read a pattern, this is an original pattern of mine so I'm actually going to be uh, selling this pattern on my Etsy shop which I'll put the link in the description of this video. So if you'd rather read the pattern than watch the video or do both at the same time and if you want to support my cause then I will put a link in the description of this video so you can go there and purchase the pattern and uh, follow along that way. So I'm just going to continue doing this row the whole row and then I'll show you how to fasten off at the end of this row. Okay so I've just done the last two stitches here so just do the slip stitch and then we're ending with a half double crochet because we started with a half double crochet on this row just like that and then we're ready to pass it off so what I usually do is just chain one and trim my yarn and then pull that all the way through and pull that tight and to reinforce it I just go through that last stitch we made that half double crochet, pull the yarn through, well, loop it over my finger and then pull the, the yarn all the way through if it hooks, there we go, and then just pull that through to make another knot. Okay, and then you can pull that tight, sew in your end, and we have a lovely baby blanket. So let me just fold this up really quick so you can see. It is so lovely and thick and nice and warm. So now I just have to choose which side I want to use. I think I can use this side. You can see it. Um, these look kind of like waves or one of my friends had said that it looks uh, like a cloud which is super um, soft and comfy. And you will see when you make this it is, I'm just using one strand of yarn for this whole project and it's really squishy and soft um, so you'll feel that um, 
when you make this. But I had made an anchor applique uh, in a separate video, so if you want to watch that other video, I'll put the link in the description of this video. But I wanted to sew on the anchor to this blanket um, because I wanted to have that nautical look on here. So I have already made my anchor, so if you want to go watch that video and sew on an anchor to your baby blanket, or if you have a different applique, um, you can, you know, you don't have to put an applique on this blanket. It's lovely just the way it is. But if you do, uh, you can watch that video or you can make it your own applique and put it right in the corner there just to give it a little extra touch to it. So I'm going to show you how I'm going to sew that on real quick. Uh, what I'm going to do is put this, actually I'm going to trim this, okay, so I want to put it right in this corner and we're just going to put, uh, we're just going to use a yarn needle, so I just put the yarn through my needle here and we're making sure to only go through one layer so if you don't want to fold your blanket for safety <laughs> a safety net you can um, just have it laying all the way out and we're just going to go back and forth through this layer through the stitches so you can see just like that so I'm going to sew on this piece and then I'll show you how to do the next pieces. Um, so make sure, you know, if you, or if you are adding the applique uh, or if you want to do the nautical applique for, for this anchor, you watch my other video to show you, it'll show you how I made this anchor. Um, and just sew it on to the corner and it'll just give it a really nice nautical look to it. Uh, and it'd really be, really be cute if the, uh, if your baby's room or, if, or somebody you know is having a baby and the nursery is nautical, uh, that would be, this would definitely fit in and look really nice in their nursery. So just continue going back and forth through the stitches, through your blanket, and I'll meet you back up when I have this piece sewn on and I will start putting on the next piece. Alright, so I sewed on the anchor top here, you can see, and so I am going to sew on this arrow part right here first, um, but I don't want it to look like a complete arrow like this. You want to make sure um, that it's wide enough, or widened enough, and I'm not going to put it at the very bottom of this because I don't want there to end up being a space here. So I am going to actually overlap it a little bit, just like halfway onto that part so that there won't be any space, won't be risking anything. And then the way I'm going to sew it, easily I can manipulate this to be more like this and more, not such like a V or like an arrow looking. So um, just sew it on however you'd like and just keep going, you know, back and forth. What I'm going to actually do is pull this, let me get a hook here, I'm going to go in from underneath and pull this straggler piece through the back side like that. And then when I come all the way around with this long piece, because I'm going to be using this to sew, when I get all the way back around, I am going to tie these two pieces together in a knot to secure this piece and then sew that in. So um, that will be hidden. So just sew it on, keep going in and out. And you can see too, I'll turn this around real quick here. Okay, so you can see that on the back side you can see my stitches, but don't worry because that's the back of the blanket, you know, it's not going to be that big of a deal. This is the front of the blanket, and you can choose, you know, which side you want the front and the back to be, whatever side looks better, but they basically are going to look exactly the same, so because you just did the same stitches on each side. 
So it's really up to you. Uh, but yep, just keep going back and forth on this piece and I'll meet you back up when I'm going to attach this piece. Alright, so I just sewed on this bottom portion here. I really like how it turned out. Um, so just, you know, stretch out your... You can really manipulate this however you want to have it shaped. And now I'm just going to sew this piece on. And I want to sew it high enough. Let me see here. I want to sew it high enough. And like not so low where it's going to, you know, obviously not have much room between there. But right in the middle, I think, is a really good spot for it. So I'm going to sew it right there. And then I'll meet you back up when I have that done. But I did want to suggest one other thing. Um, you know, on the back side here, if you're really unhappy with the way these stitches all look, you can easily make another anchor and just put it right on the opposite side. That way it's a two-sided blanket and you won't see any of the stitches because when you sew the other one on, the stitches will be right exactly where these ones are so you won't see them on this side either so I thought that was a really good idea if you want to uh, do that you can um, I'm not going to since this is just a for me it's just a one-sided blanket you're not going to see the other side but you can totally do that if you're really unhappy with the way that turns out um, but I'm just going to sew this to my blanket here this is the third piece of the anchor and I'll meet you back up when I am finished. Alright, so I just finished sewing in my ends and sewing this piece on. So there is my anchor. I absolutely love it. This is my nautical blanket. So I hope you learned something and enjoyed making this blanket. I know I did. So um, I hope that you know, your little one enjoys this and stays warm. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure, do not forget to uh, join my Facebook page. I'll put the link in the description as well as subscribing to my channel so you can get the updates on when I put new videos out. I try to get one new video out each week. Um, so do that. And then also I'll put the link for uh, the pattern for the blanket. Uh, just the plain blanket in it's gonna be for the pattern is gonna be for sale if you want to follow along with the written pattern um, just if you know I write my pattern my original patterns so and they're for sale so if you want to support my cause you can go over there and uh, purchase the pattern for the blanket but they'll put the link for the pattern for this anchor applique in the in the description of this video. Um, this is a free pattern that is provided online that I found, so um, I'll put the link for that. This is not my pattern, uh, so I won't be, be be selling this, but I'll be selling the pattern for the blanket by itself, plain blanket. Uh, so. Yeah, so just hop on over to my Facebook and see all my crochet videos. I hope you learned something. Happy hooking!